Nashville Skyline, a novel by Francis Fessmeyer. In the great tradition of Southern literature storytelling, Nashville Skyline is an inspirational novel which deals with the pain of loss, one's search for self, and the never-ending question, does God exist? It is the 1980s, and John Gabriel Gabe Rutherford, an emergency physician living in exile on a houseboat, is trapped in the nightmares of the past whether it be reliving his father's suicide or charging on Yankee breastworks at the Battle of Franklin. Gabe's greatest hope for survival in this world is his true love, Elizabeth Halcyon Morgan, who goes by the nickname Sis. Sis, brilliant, beautiful, and athletic, is an anchor woman for a Nashville news station. Gabe and Sis previously had consummated their love by exchanging vows and silver rings by candlelight. But now, after five years, they are still unmarried. Gabe rationalizes that it must relate to her parents dying when she was young, but deep down he wonders if something dark and terrifying happened to her in the past, a secret which she is too scared to share even with him. As the story unfolds, we follow Gabe in his vain attempt to escape from his responsibilities to himself, to others, and to God. As his spiritual self spirals downward in an ever-widening gyre, he discovers that he is destined for the same fate as his father. In a dramatic conclusion, we learn that life has meaning, that our world has a caring God, and that life does offer second chances. Nashville Skyline is Francis Fassmeyer's first novel, inspired by Southern writers such as William Faulkner, Robert Penn Warren, Walker Percy, and Pat Conroy. It is written for those who love classic Southern literature that deals with the South's rich Civil War history, the unique qualities of the people, the scars of the past, and the pain of lost love. I exist on an imaginary tightrope and must watch every step lest I fall into the cold, dark abyss. I live in constant fear of the future, in fear that the inevitable will take place, and I live in constant fear of the past, in fear that what has already happened will happen again. How can the present exist in such a world. Bill Dedman, a Pulitzer Prize winner and investigative reporter for MSNBC, says, Nashville Skyline is a moving story of human weakness and redemption. Fueled by Southern history and classical mythology, Fessmeyer's story of Gay Rutherford's journey will stir anyone who remembers the sting of a lost loved one or the heartbreak of lost love. Lisa Bauer, in her uh, Clarion Review forward, says in a book that spans the present, the past, and future, and dips its toe into dream, faith, and the other world, Gabe and Sis's struggle to do right in a world that has failed them will resonate with readers of all ages and backgrounds. Fessmeyer is able to zero in on faith and Gabe's reawakening to God and life with grace. Robert Coles, a Pulitzer Prize winner and author of Walker Percy and American Search and of Flannery O'Connor's South, says the glorious son of another Southern physician writer, our beloved Dr. Percy, has wonderfully warmed Francis Fessmeyer. Philip Coyle, the academic dean of Richmond Graduate University, says, C.S. Lewis once observed, God whispers in our pleasures, but shouts in our pain. In Nashville Skyline, Francis Fessmeyer articulates a powerful personal message of pain and love, and we should all Listen.